All right, I'm gonna show you again, another example of 3D printing not being a toy. So kind of like this micro switch bracket that I made, I decided that nobody, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna die just holding this thing. No. <laughs> then option number B for cutting instrument holes, uh, hole saw. Always ends up looking like a rabid beaver went after it. So back to the original point. I made up a jig, threw this up in Fusion, and it's basically an instrument hole. And uh, we can use it to locate our screw holes. And the other thing we'll do is run our flush router bit through that. So figure uh, what better time than now to uh, cut some holes in a nice piece of aluminum. Wise man once told me, never let the airplane sense your fear. So, let's just get to it. I'm gonna set this, bring it up there. Let's secure it real quick. Just so she don't fling around and make me start leaking. All right, first step. We already know the hole saw comes through like a rabid beaver, but to give the router a chance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hole saw this out anyways, but we're gonna do it with a much smaller size hole saw bit. So we don't mind if it gets a little sloppy. So never let the airplanes interfere. That's about where I got it scrubbed. Oh yeah, I like to party. Horrific. So would not be thrilled if that was the final hole in my panel. Fortunately, it's not. So, we got our hole cut out. Now, that right on my scribe line. Okay. Last thing we want to do find our measure stick. Okay. Right, so four and a carter. You're good, you're good. Okay. Look at the fly cutter. put our first hole in. So that's where the instrument hole mounting hole is. I'm just gonna temporarily hold that in place. Make sure she didn't move. She hasn't. Lots the corner.
comes the magic part. Get that out. Move the table. Big part goes on the bottom. Show. Small part on top. small tapered screws here so I even put a uh, let's put a small dimple in the top too so that these screws will come down nice and flush so they don't interfere with the router when it comes by Now it's secured to the table, nice and tight. All right, so now I'll show you what's going on here real quick. All right, so these screws are nice, nice and flush. This whole top is smooth. We've located our, our instrument mounting holes. And here you can see the rough cut edge left over from the hole saw. So now all we need is that flush cut bit, make a pass on that, clean it up real nice. Safety squints. trimmed up and I don't even feel a burr on any of it. Let's take that out. Can you ask for anything better than that? I have to hit it real quick with a light file. Oh, a little burr right there, but otherwise, just a real quick pass over that. That should work dandy. Ooh. Just to drive it home here. One sec. Proof is in the pudding, right? Let's see what a uh, instrument looks in there. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, I'm not even in frame. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. Works amazing. So, yeah, if you like that, uh, go ahead and do it yourself. Uh, I might even be able to uh, sell a couple of these jigs if anybody's looking for some. Um, yeah, you probably get get a few holes out of them. There's a little bit of a little bit of scuff on the inside of this one after using it a few times, but um, I think that's just heat. So maybe doing it in the, in like ABS or nylon will help it last longer. But you know, for a quick short run, cutting a few instruments, thing works great. So. 
Yeah, if you want one, let me know. Maybe I can uh, send you off a couple. Thank you much.